My name is Anna Barker, and I'm the curator of From Revolutionary Outcast to a Man of God, Dostoevsky at 200. And today I would like to focus on uh, Dostoevsky's second important publication, his novel, The Double, which was published in 1846 when Dostoevsky was 25 years old. Um, after the success of his first publication, Poor Folk, Dostoevsky resigned his military engineer post and decided to concentrate on literature, but that move was tremendously premature because Dostoevsky's double was very poorly received by the critics. Um, and the remarkable thing about this novel, um, as badly as it was received at the time of its publication, um, its legacy is tremendous. And um, so many literary works have been inspired by Dostoevsky's double. Um, first and foremost, um, on display here, we have the German translation of the double. And of course, the title of that translation is Doppelganger. So Dostoevsky really um, invigorates the doppelganger genre. And um, several writers um, were inspired by this book um, during their composition of um, novels that deal with the doubling of our personality. And uh, the most famous one, of course, is Robert Louis Stevenson, um, who um, admired Dostoevsky's double and Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment. And the result of his work with Dostoevsky and his reading of Dostoevsky was his um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, we also have a photograph of Oscar Wilde, who um, admired Dostoevsky's double as well. He was also a huge fan of Dostoevsky's The Humiliated and Insulted, and um, his picture of Dorian Gray, and we have a wonderful um, illustrated uh, copy of the picture of Dorian Gray uh, from the University of Iowa uh, Special Collections, uh, was also inspired by Dostoevsky's double. And then most importantly, we have a photograph of a very young Sylvia Plath, who when she was an undergraduate student, wrote her honors thesis on Dostoevsky's double and the doubling in Brothers Karamazov. So despite its um, very sad and unproductive beginning, the double has been um, a tremendously successful novel and Dostoevsky included these tales of doubling of human personalities in most of the novels that he has written since. Um, in The Idiot, we see the doubling of several characters, Prince Mushkin and Ragozhin, Prince Mushkin and Ippolit Terentiev, um, and in Brothers Karamazov, these doubles um, are endless. And um, I really encourage everyone to acquaint themselves with Dostoevsky's double if they want to understand the complexity of his later works.